Okay, so for this one, it says that um, a common stock will pay two per share in dividends at the end of the current year. So uh, you are given that the earnings will increase 7% per year indefinitely, and the number of shares increases 4% per year indefinitely, and that the corporation plans to continue to pay the same percentage. Okay, the price of a stock 10 years from the beginning will be X at that time. Okay, 10% X using the dividend discount model. Okay, well, first and foremost, uh, what is the dividend discount model? I believe it's the amount of dividend over I effective minus K, the growth rate, right? So they're giving us a lot of percentages. So uh, we see here that a common stock will pay uh, $2 per share in dividends. And it's also saying that the... Uh, the common stock of $2 or earnings would increase by 10% per year. And that they're giving us a time limit of how the price of the stock 10 years from the beginning of the current year will be X, right? So, um, yeah. So, well, the first things first is that we see that our um, earnings percentage is 7%, right? Earnings. And we also see that the number of shares increase. By 4%, right? So that means that we have to subtract both percentages to get the net growth, right? Because if we're earning 7% per year indefinitely, but the number of shares also increased 4% per year indefinitely, wouldn't we have to compensate for some uh, amount of money incurred in the amount of shares that will multiply throughout the year? So we earn 7%, so we, we subtract it by the, the share amount increased growth rate by 4%, and we get 3% as the net growth, right? So now net growth so now that means that we based on the net growth of three percent we then want to just uh calculate the growth of the two dollar common stock dividend from there so we'll multiply it by 1.3 and um so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now it says that the price of the stock 10 years from the beginning of the current year will be X at the time. So now, so now it says that since the price of the stock is 10 years from the beginning of the current year, Uh, if ten, so the price of the stock is 10 years from the beginning. So that means that the time period starts at zero and will end at nine, right? If it's starting at the beginning. So that means that we are gonna just uh, accumulate it by nine. And we find out that when we solve this, we're gonna get, we're gonna get uh, 2.60, right? Right now, once we get that growth rate from the net growth, uh, based on the fact that the price of the stock 10 years from the beginning of the current year will be X, then uh, we are able, so this is our X, right? Then we're able to incorporate the X into this equation of D, the price of the common stock, which is 2.069 over the effective interest rate that was already given of 10% and the net growth of uh, 3%. Then we just do that divided by 0 0.07 and we're going to get 37.2792. And from what I see here, A and B are out, E are out. Uh, I only have a 0.27 decimal, so it would be closest to the answer C.